Hi guys. Um, I just I've picked this lock before in an earlier video. You may or may not have seen it. It's a CISO logo line. It's an Italian lock. It's in good working condition. Works with the key. There's a bidding on the key. It's um, somewhat difficult, I guess, um, for single pin picking. But anyway, I'm going to use a short hook. Okay, just a normal tension wrench. Going to go with tension here. Top or bottom, whatever you want to call that. Anyway, so I'm going to push the first pin down. Or, let's see, I'll go through the lock and figure out which pin's binding first. And it's the first one. So I'll push the first one down. And when I do that, it gives me a little false set. Then I'm going to go through the lock again. And the fifth pin is giving me some pressure on my tension wrench. So I push that one down. Now the third one is giving me some pressure. So I push that one down. So now, if, if I remember correctly, I push the fifth, the third, and the first. And now the second pin is still a little bit loose, it's still springy. But the fourth pin is binding, so I'm going to push down the fourth pin. There we go. Now, the third pin was obviously caught on a spool or something. And the second pin is also giving me a lot of pressure on my tension wrench. And I pushed the second one down. But when I did that, um, the, th the fourth one popped back up, so I pushed the fourth one back down. Now we have the second pin, the first pin set, the fifth pin set, and the third pin, I think, is in stuck in a spool. So I'm going to push that one down. Hold on one second. There we go. I'm going to, I pushed the third one out of the spool. So now it just feels like I have the fourth pin binding and the third pin still feels springy so I didn't do that right. I'm going to push the fourth one down and it's the third pin that's binding now. So I'm going to push down the third pin, try not to reset any of the other pins. Trying. Alright, so I, I believe I did that. Fourth one popped back up I push the fourth one down again after I push that third one and the lock is open. Okay. So um, you pretty much have to find the combination you need to pick these pins in. Um, if I can remember correctly I'll try to do it. So it was first, fifth I believe, third, then second. Let's start again. First, fifth, fourth. Not the fourth, okay. First, fifth, third, fourth, second. I didn't set that one correctly, okay. So, first, fifth, third, fourth. second again. Now when I push that second pin down, the other pins pop back up. So I need to set the pin, the second pin before I set the other pins. So I'm going to push the third down. I'm going to leave the fourth and see if I can set the second. There we go. So now I have the first pin set, fifth pin set, third pin set, but in a spool. I'm going to push down the fourth pin. It's giving me the most pressure. Then the third pin. Now the fifth pin again, the fourth pin pops back up. It's giving me a lot of feedback. Okay. So The second pin is up there again, which is annoying. 
Anyway, so first, fifth. I'm going to try to set the second right now. There we go. So, sorry, it was first, fifth, third, second. Now I have the fourth pin. There's the third pin, sorry. It wasn't in fully pushed down. Now I have the fourth pin giving me some pressure. Push that one down. Now I go through this, and the third one seems like it's caught on a spool. There we go. Fourth pin pops back up, okay? Push the fourth one down, and the lock's open. Anyway, uh, that kind of took longer than I thought it would be. Uh, anyway, so there, there's a CISO logo line, kind of more in depth, kind of figure out what I'm doing there. Um, so rate, subscribe, whatever. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you later.